Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome to some automation. We're doing a quick tutorial, or rather quick tutorial, on how to do custom headlights, grills, and other things with mods and other fixtures in automation. So, first off, what is a custom fixture? So, the stock vanilla, or the stock default fixtures you have in the game, so let's look at headlights here. You've got, let me scroll down here, you've got a bunch of headlights that come with the game. So we've got these, like, Dodge Viper-ish headlights... We've got these square ones or rectangles. We got, you know, circles and squares. We got pretty much everything you could imagine for headlights. But what if you want something else? Well, that's where just other fixtures come in. Okay, so there's the mod fixtures. So if you scroll up a little farther here, you can see the ones with mod next to it. These are all mod headlights. We've got some mod headlights like these are Lamborghini headlights. We've got these ones, whatever they are. We've got uh, uh, pop-up headlights, housings, and, and things like that. So what we're going to do is make our own headlight housings, our own headlight fixtures, using fixtures in the game. So if you go to the body molding tab, uh, there's a there's a few mods we're going to be using today to make our custom headlights and custom grills. Um, one of the mods we're going to need is reverse dog tape. I'll have a link for that down below in the description. And the other one is patchworks. So these are the two main mods, but there are other mods that you can use as well that I won't include today. But they can be used uh, as a replacement or used in conjunction with the mods we're using. So, uh, you know, this might be a little... Yeah, not perfect of a tutorial because I'm not the best at doing tutorials. I don't do them too often. So what we're going to do here is grab... A reverse dog tape. So what this is, is this is a fixture that actually cuts out pieces of your car so it makes the, tr the car partially invisible. As you can see here, we've, if we make it pretty big, we've got a big hole in the front of our car. Now it's basically, you know, a BMW sized grill. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab this, this square we've got. There's circles, there's triangles, and there's quarter circles. Those are the four ones we have right now. Uh, so we're gonna grab this rectangle of the square shape. We're actually gonna make it cardinal lock on just so it's lined up like that. Uh, we're going to turn off fixture snapping. We don't need that right now. You can have it on though, but I, I don't want it on right now. Um, so what we're going to do is just design custom headlights nice and simple. So we're make these things nice and small. We'll actually change it to a circle. We'll do really simple headlights today. So we're going to grab a circle like this. A little bit bigger. We're going to grab another circle like this and we'll make it smaller. So we've got two circles. This is just the simplest way. So we've got two circles similar to sort of like a snake-ish or something. I've got, what does this look like? A spider? I don't know. So I've got my two circles in place, and now what you're going to want to do is place more shapes, whether it's a rectangle, squares, circles, triangles, whatever you want, uh, to make the rest of the headlight housing in the shape that you want. I started off with these two circles, but I'm just going to fast forward a bit until I get a proper shape that I'm happy with. That's okay. That's okay. We've got a very large headlight housing. That's the basic headlight shape. Now what we're going to do is make a grill shape, and then we'll go on and actually finish them. So, we're gonna so yet again, guys, we are uh, adding some reverse dog tape fixtures to cut out where we want our grill to be. We're also going to cut out the side intake for the car as well. We're going to have side intakes, grills, and headlights. We're going to do all those today in sort of different fashions. So just use whatever shapes you want. And again, we're fast forwarding through uh, my very tedious placement of my mediocre frowny faced grill in my Mazda Miata. So we've got that, then we've got our headlight housing, we've got our grill, and we've got our intake housings. Just the shaping of them for now. What we need to do is go to body molding and use our patchwork. So if you click this grill icon, and I'll have links for the mods down below like I said earlier, uh, we will take this grill. It doesn't really matter which one you choose, but just, just the first one's fine. You can edit it from there. Grab the first one. And you might have you might like not be able to click on it. If you click on it, we can't grab it after. If you just cycle through the fixtures using the the comma and the period or these these two brackets, I'll put a picture on the screen here. If you press the comma one, you can cycle backwards or forwards. So we got forwards or backwards. If you go backwards a couple, you go to the very last fixture you used, which was this grill. So now we have that back in our position. We can actually use the arrows to move it, or we can use the move tool and move it that way. So we'll keep it like this. We will click cardinal lock on. For my grills, I always just use cardinal lock on just so it lines it up properly with the car if you don't have it on. You actually can't tell in this in this beep, but it, it's usually different. Okay, so we'll make it bigger so it fills up the entire front of the car. And we're going to stretch it all the way across. This is dead simple for now. There we go. The grill goes all the way across to the edge to the outside vents, but also cuts into the headlights. So one thing we want to change real quick for our headlights is actually move them up a layer. I always usually put my headlights on actually layer 3. And then my grill on layer 2 and so on. So the headlights is usually the very top layer, or at least part of it. Now we want to actually make the custom grill part of our car. So you can see here, it's there. We got a grill, but there is some gaps. If you look down here, you can see there's a gap there and there. You can see through it completely right over there. So we're actually going to go ahead and go back to body molding. And I can't actually recall what this mod is called. 
Well, actually, it looks like this is a stock fixture. I just want to let you guys know it's a stock fixture. It's available in the body molding section. You don't actually need any mods anymore to use this fixture. We'll use this for now. I use other fixtures I'll show you too. Um, so we can use any one of these. These are all sort of different pieces used for grills or whatever you want to use it for. We'll use the basic one for now. And I'll, I'll place it and you'll see what it is. So we'll place it down and it's sort of like an angled... It's like, it's like an angled piece. It's exactly, it's an angled piece meant for grills and stuff. We'll actually cycle back to it with the with the comma key again. Uh, make sure it's cardinal lock gun is usually what I do as well. Then we will actually rotate it. Then we can actually just sort of make it a bit smaller and move it up here. So what we're going to do is use these pieces to basically outline our actual grill housing itself. Uh, you know, just to give it so it's nice and smooth, so it's not just a complete drop off into the front of the car. Um, you can use other fixtures as well, but this is the ones I use for this build. I sometimes use other fixtures that I'll show shortly for the actual vents, uh, but for now I just use these. You're also welcome to add as much as you want uh, to make it look like a, a smoother finish around the grill. If you use too little, it'll look very jarring and jagged, so I add a, a decent amount. You could add way more if you want, but I just add this just to get the point across. Just so we have that. Um, and now one other thing I use for the actual grills sometimes, depending on what kind of car I want to make, is I'll go to the headlight fixture, and there is this mod for headlights. Um, I forget what it's called again, but again, I'll include links down below. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll post in the picture what the mod is called. I'll post a picture on the screen of what the mod is, and I'll post a link down below. So grab this, these headlights. There's different options for these daytime running light LED bars. There's 0 millimeter, 10 and 50. These are how far behind they are the car's body line. So I'll just go for 0 for now. Then what you want to do is use these grill bar headline fixtures uh, to just go on the outside. So you've got to angle them slightly for some pieces, but angle them uh, to whatever shape you desire and make sure they uh, go to the same angle as the outline of the grill housing or headlight housing, whatever you're trying to do uh, with these grill bar headlight fixtures. Like that. Okay, so we've got this custom grill here with these bars. You can also use these bars. We got, we'll grab one actually, we'll go like this. You can use these bars and do things like like this. You can have just tons of bars. We'll take off the fixture snapping. So you can do that. So pretty much, you can do whatever you want. If you if you spend enough time doing this, you can do design literally whatever you want with all custom fixtures. We'll just do that. Okay. So you got these bars in the front grill. So that's you know that's the gist of it. You can add bars. You can add more details, more or less. Now onto the headlights. Now what we want to do first is grab the body molding again. Grab our grill fixture and place it right here, and just cycle back to it. Make sure it's on layer three because that's the headlight layer. Uh, cardinal lock on again. You always want a cardinal lock on for the headlight housing for sure, and just sort of move it and stretch it. If you can cardinal lock on, just do your best to use the just just the default align too. But you know, cardinal lock on is much easier. So we got this now. Uh, what I like to do is uh, we, we can just turn this to black. So we've got we'll actually turn it to this really dark black that I have. All right, now this part of the headlights is a little more complicated, but the first thing you want to do is use our grill bar mod fixture or the other fixture we used for the actual grill itself uh, and just use that on the outline of the headlights. I would recommend the grill bars. It's a bit easier to work with on the headlights on the edges of the body. So use that to sort of outline the headlights. Again, the more you add, the smoother it's going to look. I'd recommend using quite a bit, but for just this tutorial, I'm not going to use very much. I won't even finish it because it doesn't really matter, uh, but just use quite a bit to make it look more finished. Um, after that, we're going to work on adding some actual headlight projectors inside the headlight housing. And there is tons and tons of mods for that. Just browse the Steam Workshop, look for headlight bulbs, etc. Or look for headlight mods. Honestly, just download every mod from the Steam Workshop. Um, and lastly, what we want to do for the headlights, the actual housing inside the housing itself, uh, is add our daytime running light LED light strips. Because 2020 cars tend to have a lot of those, or newer cars tend to have a lot of those. So we're going to go and use the Glow Sticks mod. I'll have a link down below for that as well. Very, very popular mod. And use that. Again, you can use as much as you want to make the lines look smooth. Uh, but for this car, we're just going to add it to the top of our headlight housing. And make it look fairly smooth. Just some sort of strip above the actual projectors for the headlight. Uh, after all this is said and done, the interior of our headlights, what we want to do is actually add another patchwork piece over top of the headlights, and we're going to make this into a transparent glass color. There is a lot of choices. You can look through all the choices. Um, so you go to the patchwork mod, you'll find where the grills are, where we chose our grill. Just down below, there's a square block that says patch. You grab that, you place it over top of the headlights, uh, you make sure it's on the proper layer, and then you change that from red or just the default body color, whatever that may be, to the transparent or um, slightly transparent uh, color that you want, like a glass texture color. There we go. So now that's all behind it. Now we got ourselves some headlights and a grill. So, you know, if you want to add a badge or you want to add whatever else you want, 
you can add those. And you could use these same techniques for other things if you want to make custom door handles. You can go ahead and do that. You can make custom side intakes. You can make custom taillights. It's the same thing. A rear diffuser. If you want to make a license plate mount area, there you go. If you want to make just anything really, you can do so much with patchwork. There's a lot more body molding. You can use body molding for custom headlights as well. You can you can make custom taillights with the help of other body molding pieces and stuff. Um, but for all new people that are watching this that don't play automation too much but they want to get into it, it might be daunting. I know this video might be daunting. Uh, if you guys want some tips and tricks, if you guys want to ask other people, real people for help, there's a link to my Discord in the description if you guys want to talk to people. Um, you can ask me a question or you can ask anyone else in the server a question. People are more than happy to help. Um, if you want design tips, they're there as well. Obviously, this car is extremely ugly. I will probably change it a little bit for the thumbnail because it's just hideous. Uh, if you guys you thought this tutorial was somewhat helpful, leave a like down below. I hope I didn't go too fast or talk too fast. I do talk too fast. I hope I didn't go over it too quickly. Um, feel free to rewatch it, I guess, or um, ask someone in the Discord. If you guys want to see more tutorials, let me know in the comments down below what kind of things you want to see me do in automation. Um, thank you guys, of course, so much for watching. Your guys' support means actually an absolute ton to me. Um, and, of course, as always, guys, I'll see you next time.